do you think china will be the next soviet union means will it collapse due to communism i have heard many chinese are unhappy with the current current government you see china is not a communist nation china says it's a communist marxist socialist nation etc but the truth is that it's an out and out capitalist nation it's fully capitalistic in, in nature it has billionaires uh, a chinese billionaire is born every other day and a chinese billionaire dies of some reason every 15 or 20 days that's what's happening in china right now so china is completely fully capitalistic right it's a full it's it's trying to industrialize fully it doesn't really it is, socialism is just lip service marxism communism is just lip service it's basically uh, the rule of one party it's an imperial state so it's basically reverted to the traditional chinese form of governance which is the imperial system xi jinping may be called the president or whatever but he's actually the emperor and the ccp the chinese communist party is the current ruling dynasty so it doesn't mean that xi jinping's daughter will become the next premier but somebody from the ccp in the future after xi jinping will succeed him as the president if everything goes according to plan if the if the ccp remains in power uh, for a long period of time so it is basically the country has reverted to the imperial system with certain changes so it is not by any means a communist nation will it collapse well only time will tell uh, typically i the chinese dynasties collapse when they suffer a military defeat or they lose a uh, face in some manner in the eyes of their subjects so that's when widespread rebellion happens and when 1.4 billion people rebel there's nothing even uh, the ccp can do about it so that will happen only if the chinese communist party is is seen to have lost its uh, divine mandate to rule the mandate of heaven so there is this concept in china called the mandate of heaven every emperor has the mandate of heaven as long as he or she as long as he essentially is able to control the country tightly no matter how many atrocities they commit on the people as long as they are able to control the country and and basically that is the only criterion for having the mandate of heaven but if they suffer a catastrophic military defeat somewhere it means that they have lost the mandate of heaven and that's when the dynasty inevitably crumbles and falls and then there is a dynastic cycle there's a period of upheaval and strife and eventually after some time a new dynasty emerges so as of today the ccp is very secure but if it does indulge in some military misadventure somewhere and it suffers a catastrophic defeat that it may trigger off a chain of events that may cause its collapse so it will not collapse because it is it is a communist regime it is not a communist regime it will not collapse because the people are unhappy with it people have always been unhappy in china there's never been a benevolent uh, imperial uh, imperial dynasty ever so the the only way the ccp will will fall from power if it is if it, it indulges in some military misadventure and suffers a catastrophic defeat even if it's a small defeat if it is very visible then it could be curtains so that's how things go in china